do people still do haul videos? Because I haven't done any shopping in a long time and I finally got myself like a whole new wardrobe kind of thing and uh, I want to share it. So I'm gonna. It's not like I have anywhere to go, but uh, it's also almost my husband and I's anniversary and so I wanted some clothes to wear in case we went out, you know, somewhere nice. So I have a whole bunch of stuff, like a whole table over here just full of stuff. Most of it is from Shein, which I have never shopped from before, but I'm glad I did. Oh my God. I don't, e I don't even know where to start, but first things first, I guess, the most important item that I purchased, this bag. Oh my God, it's so cute. And look, the wing is a pocket. Are you kidding me? So I'm weird and I like to collect like weird bags and I saw this on the she and went, oh my God, it's so cute. Hello. <laughs> oh, the zipper, oh no, it's not broken. Okay, I thought it was broken. <laughs> it's not. I saw this and I had, I had to have it. It's just, it's, there's quite a lot of space in him you know, for a handbag. And the, the wing being a pocket just kills me every time. Oh my God. I also shopped from Killstar and Pretty Little Thing. The things I got from Killstar and Pretty Little Thing are probably not available anymore, or at least not on sale. I had um, bought some things around Black Friday and I never um, shared them till now but everything from Shein should be available. I'll link everything down below. Other random things, just cause I wanna share them. I found these boots from Marshalls. Freaking adorable. And also these boots that I had got at Target a while ago, because it's been a while since I had a good pair of like combat looking boots. I found this adorable heart belt on eBay. I think you can also, find a belt like this on Pretty Little, uh, not Pretty Little Thing, on Shein, but I didn't know that at the time. So I bought this on eBay um, for like $4. It's, it's cute. A couple other random things. Uh, I was doing some wandering around a mall while my husband was working some overtime and I came across a store called Papaya. They have an online store. I didn't, I didn't know anything about them. But at this mall that I was at, they were doing like, everything was really cheap or on sale. I have a feeling that the store is closing, but I found a couple dresses that I will probably wear out somewhere, hopefully, if places are open. Oh, and with these dresses, I really wanna get a pair of Converse to wear with them. I feel like they'd look really cute with Converse. I'm actually going to the store this Saturday to go find some. I almost forgot this shirt from Papaya. It's just a little tank top and it's got little ties, little tank crop top, little ties on the waist, very cute. And then I have a couple other things from Killstar. First is this, I like oversized things. So I got this too big for me. What size did I get this in? I bought this in a 3X. It's a big, like, distressed hoodie thingamabob. Messy, like, look, look at all the little, the little frays and stuff. It's very nice. This was supposed to be a pair of striped knee-high socks, but I have chunky legs, so probably not gonna wear these unless my legs are completely hidden, but, you know, stripey stripies. Same with this piece of clothing. It's a very tight, like fishnetty kind of lacy dress thing. It's super stretchy. And I had actually tried this one on. So I bought this so that I could wear underneath like t-shirts and dresses and whatnot. And it's the same thing. So like it stretches a lot, but it's supposed to be a dress. And I think you can pull it down long enough to be a dress, but I bought it to wear underneath other dresses or shirts. I also got a cup. From, I should go get that. Let me show you the cup. Okay. <laughs> I also bought this cup. The I myself am strange and unusual cup. Okay, let's move on to pretty little thing. I'm gonna be honest, I was a 
slightly disappointed in all of my purchases from Pretty Little Thing. I did, I did try on all of these things a while ago. I just haven't gotten around to wearing them or sharing them, whatever. But a lot of this stuff just felt like really low quality or if it was the plus size stuff, it felt like it wasn't sewn right. And I know I, I have a weird body where my waist, like my rib cage is really small and then I come out a little bit and my thighs are really thick. So like, I don't know, and I'm only 5'6", but I felt like I was too tall for some of this stuff, so I just, I don't, I don't know, I was just a little bit disappointed. But I wanted to get some basics, so I bought this pair of, like, long, like, high-waisted shorts. In the picture, they looked like biker shorts, but in a cotton fabric, which is what I wanted. And the waistband looked really nice and, like, solid, and when I got it, it's just, and it bunches, and it's just, they're not the most flattering things on the planet. And then I just got a regular old, what are these even called? Like a tube skirt? I don't, I don't know what it's called. And then this, this is the fit that I'm realizing wasn't exactly the way I hoped it would be. Is this uh, skeleton, it's this sheer skeleton print uh, matching set. This is the top. And then it's leggings. So this definitely doesn't fit me anymore. It's a little too big. So this weird thing happens when I wear these. The underwear that's inside fits okay, but then like the crotch of the actual pants just hangs down really low and it's and the skeletons are like really far out on the hips. And it's just they're not the the best put together. Like it's just weird and awkward fitting. Oh my god. I'm all sweaty now. I had to run up my stairs to try to find the rest of the clothes because I thought I was missing something only to realize it was right here the whole time. I still feel like I'm missing something, but the next few things are from YesStyle and some of this stuff I'm not gonna try on because sites like YesStyle don't have a lot of larger sizes. So um, some of these won't go past my thighs, but that's all right. First, is your plain old schoolgirl looking skirt fantasticness. I don't know exactly what my plans were for this skirt, but I wanted one. Now I'm kind of nervous about wearing it. It is a little bit too small on me, but uh, that's fine. The other skirt I bought from YesStyle definitely, definitely does not fit. It will not go past my thighs. But it would have been really cute. I would have liked it a lot better than the uh, other skirt. It's just a plain skirt. But on the side, it has this fun little doodad. So there's like a slit on the thigh. Like a little, a little cutout on the thigh. And it's got that. I don't know. I just thought it was cute. But I'm definitely not going to be able to wear it. <laughs> unless I lose like 30 pounds. Which I'm not opposed to, but I don't know if I want to try that hard for a skirt. Next couple of things are just these weird crop tops. Something about these, I don't know. They make me nervous about the size of my arms, but I just like them. They're weird and they've got this, like, it's, it's all uh, surged edges kind of thing. I don't know. I just thought it looked cool. I got two of them. I got one in white. The white one? kind of feels like swimsuit material. So I kind of feel like it would be cool if I could find some like white swimsuit bottoms. It might be cool to wear as a swimsuit. And then last, my favorite thing from them, still a little bit small on me, but as always, my goal is to look like some mixture of a vampire or princess or pirate. And I feel like this shirt does all those things. It's got the puffy sleeves. It's a corset with a bow, you tie on the front and little snaps. Oh, it's so cute. I have another shirt that's like, like off-white and fluffy that I put underneath it. It's just so cute and vampire-y and piratey and all the things put together. Now that all that's done, I'm going to move on to the rest of the Shein stuff because that's where the bulk of my items came from. So I'm just gonna start grabbing bags. I like their packaging, these matte bags, you know? So I did buy a lot of the things in plus size. I will have all of 
the links and the size I ordered linked down below and the description of my size. First is this beautiful lace shirt. It's kind of cropped. It feels like it's not very long, but it might just be because I'm five foot six. Long sleeves, beautiful lace, see-through, but so cute. V-neck in the front, ruffly, puffy, sleevey sleeveys. My favorite. Next up is a pair of pants. I have been on the hunt for a pair of high-waisted black jeans for a very, very long time. And these are almost perfect. I bought them from the plus size section, the curve section. I think I got them in a the 0X or the 1X, can't remember. But I was looking at the, uh, the reviews on it and people said it was true to size and it also looked super, super high-waisted. I was trying to find people who are the same height and weight as me, but it's hard to find. But uh, again, like I was saying, my like waist rib cage region is really small compared to the rest of my body. So these are still a little bit loose around my waist and they're kind of short. I'm 5'6", not very tall, only an inch above average. I'm pretty sure 5'5 five five is average. 5'6", five and they're kind of short. They hit my ankle, but I like a little bit of like sit on my ankle. I don't mind a bit of crinkly around my ankle, if that makes sense. But that's okay, because if I just wear them with my, my boots, they'll cover it and it won't matter. But my plan for the waist, because there's no belt loops on this, it's more like jeggings. They are stretchy. They do give a lot of give. They give a lot of give. So I feel like these are perfect. If you're a little bit bigger than me, like get these if you want some cheap high-waisted black pants. They're beautiful. But because, or maybe if you've got a tiny baby bump, now that I thought about it. But anyway, my plan is to add another button and just put the the button over to the side so that the waist is a little bit tighter. Uh, yeah. And then, you know, you eat a whole bunch, you drink some, and then at the end of the night, you just put it back on the regular button and you're good to go. <laughs> so I like them. They're not perfect, but they were really cheap, so I'm not complaining. Oh, this item is beautiful. Okay, I just realized this video is gonna be really long. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't realize how long this would take. But this dress is like a weird mixture of medieval witch meets me. <laughs> um, it's a little bit big around my waist, but nothing a, a, little, a quick little stitch up the sides can't handle, but it's a long, semi-long dress. Not exactly maxi, not exactly midi either though. It's got two slits on the side so you feel a little sexy sexy and it's velvet and heavy and it, and it looks really cute with that, that belt I got. I don't know. Oh, love it. I also got this thinking that this would look cool over some things. And I looked at reviews and there was people with bigger waist sizes than me. And I've been talking this whole time about having a small waist like... This is too tight. So I don't know if I got a weird one, but it doesn't look like the people's reviews when I put it on. It looks like it's squishing the fat out from underneath of it. And it it's just Velcro on the back. So I thought, you know, it'd be easy to put on, wear, whatever. And it is easy to put on. It's quite stretchy, but it just doesn't look flattering because of the way it squishes. And I feel like I didn't see that happening to people in the reviews, but it's okay, it was like $3. So I just wear it on a day when I'm not like bloated or I decide to fast or something. Ooh, another accessory. I bought a pair of sunglasses because sunglasses are also another thing I like to collect like that look weird. And I didn't know they, they gave you a little bag. It's got the Shein uh, label on it came with a little cloth, but these sunglasses are so cute. Rainy day, sunglasses, super cute. I, it is weird that there's only two rain droplets on that side and three on this side, and it kind of bothers my <laughs> nose, but they're cute, right? Cute. Another shirt, when I was looking at the picture of this one and the reviews of this one, I was uncertain. It didn't look like it would be stretchy, but this 
This lace is like soft, it's not itchy. There's a lot of stretch to the neck hole and a lot of give to the rest of it, like vampire vibes, love it. Also maybe Victorian vibes. I don't know my, my eras, it's fine. Lots of stretch, cute shirt, just yeah. This pair of pants, I'm actually kind of disappointed in myself. I have never ordered from Shein, so I wasn't sure if it was going to be like Asia sizes. And so some of the things, if I wasn't sure, I just ordered way bigger than I needed. So I got these in a 2XL and they look comfortable and they do sit because my hips are, are wider than waist, but you know, they're, they're a little too big. Like I feel like they look really baggy, but whatever. It makes them really comfortable. And has anybody else noticed that butterflies are coming back in? I keep seeing them everywhere in fashion. I bought one shirt that had but blue butterflies down the arm and now I see them everywhere. Butterflies are back in. 2005, seal ya hot. And then I bought a pair of lace leggings. I am pleasantly surprised in these. And nobody say anything if you can see my leg hairs. It's winter, I don't need to shave my legs. <laughs> but I was expecting these to fit kind of like the Pretty Little Thing uh, skeleton set, but these fit so nice. They do do that thing where they kind of come off my butt when I squat but, and I have to pull them back up when I stand up. But they're cute and I feel like they'll be good if it's like cold outside and I wanna wear a dress but I don't wanna wear tights kind of thing. Um, yeah. Okay, I think there's only a few more things. I'm sorry if this video is really long. But another like lace shirt. I don't know why. Oh my God, everything is black too besides that one dress. That's okay. I like to wear black. This is what the lace looks like. Looks so nice, looks fun, spunky. I don't know what to call this. And then this, you can't tell, but it's too big on me and it makes me, like not exactly body dysmorphia, but I, I, I don't, I've never been diagnosed with anything, so I don't wanna say it, but like, I don't like looking at certain parts of my body and this dress, it's very cute, but it gives me the uneasiness, if that makes sense, because it doesn't look like it doesn't fit, but because I know what my body looks like and I can feel where the dress is loose and not flattering, it just, it hurts my brain. But it's very pretty, very cute, very comfortable. Long sleeves, perfect for winter. This is probably what I'm gonna wear on my anniversary date, this dress. So it's got sheer arms and it's just sheer on the skirt, but it's got a thing underneath it. And also the waist is see-through. Um, I can probably bring it in on the waist myself. I don't know for sure. I don't know how to do a lot of different kinds of sewing, but I might just leave it and suffer <laughs> anyway. And then the last item. I think we're done. We did it. We made it. Okay. It is, oh, it's another shirt. It's just this um, oversized, and I bought it oversized, so it, I don't know. Does it, it's a 3X. No, it is oversized because I feel like this isn't a regular t-shirt for a 3X. I feel like, yeah, it's oversized. I bought it in a 3X though because I wanted it more oversized. Um, it's just a see-through shirt with stripes. Just a regular t-shirt. Wow, I messed up the lighting when I did that. You can tell I like see-through things. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> anyway, sorry this haul was very long. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry if people don't do hauls anymore. I know it's weird. We have nowhere to go. Why am I buying clothes? But sometimes you just need to spoil yourself, I guess. Anywho, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!